Hi everyone, um, this is an example of your simulated scenario as part of your APMP interview. I know you'll all be doing this virtually so I will play the role of the candidate and I will step off the screen at the minute and in the room you will have a parent, an instructor and a junior doctor like you will on the day. We expect a structured approach to the unwell child. Any information that you require can be asked and we will feed that back to you. Anything you need, the junior doctor or helper in the room will be able to do to help you. Carol, this is your scenario. We have a three-year-old child who's presented with increased work of breathing and shortness of breath. He was at a party and suddenly developed breathing difficulties. He's pale, with significant work of breathing and appears tired. You and the junior doctor have been asked to assess the patient. This is the doctor's first day in paediatrics. Okay, so I have a three-year-old who's just presented with acute onset shortness of breath and breathing difficulties after being at a party and I have a junior doctor to help me and the parent is present. Okay. Hi Christian, your dad, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name's Carol, I'm the senior nurse here in the department and this is Emma, our junior doctor. We've asked to have a look at Peter just because he's become more unwell. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, Just having a wee look at A, just his airway, is he making any sounds that we can hear? Yes additional sounds there. And what, what do we hear when we listen in? Is it str So this is strider. So he's strider. Is there any like lip swelling, facial swelling? What's his colour like? To me he looks a bit swollen. So his face looks swollen, okay. Hi Dad, just want to check, has, has Peter ever had any reactions before to anything when he's eaten maybe certain foods? No, not that I can think. Well he did have some peanut butter when I had some toast. Okay. So he, but he, and he didn't Anything, okay. okay. And did he have any nut? Do you know if he'd anything with nuts at the party? Maybe not. It's difficult to it's know. Difficult to know. I just picked him up as mum dropped him off. Okay. Um. Look, I think he might be having an allergic reaction, and okay. I think we need to give some medicine for that. So I think we need to give an injection into his leg. So Emma, could we get some I am adrenaline, please? And could we give that into his left leg? Okay. So if we just put it in I am and hold for ten seconds. Sorry, Peter, I know this is going to sting a little bit. Okay. And just give it a wee rub afterwards. Okay, so Dad, hopefully that medicine will help, but I'm just going to continue to assess him at the minute, okay? Um, so just going back to A again, I know he's got strider and he's a bit swollen. Um, what if we put a SATS probe on? Could I just have a look and see what his saturations are coming up as? So SATS are coming up at 88% there. Okay, could we put some oxygen on, please? What would you like? Just some high flow oxygen, 15 litres, the non rebreather mask. Okay, Dad, we're just putting a wee bit of oxygen on because his oxygen levels are a little bit low at yeah, the minute. Okay, okay, and hopefully that will make him feel a little bit better. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, so I'm happy with A at the minute. Moving on to B, um, is he working hard to breathe? So he has intercostal and subcostal recession. Okay, and could we listen in? Could we auscultate his chest? Can we listen to Okay, so he's very wheezy, so we could maybe think of some nebs. Um, Emma, I know you're the doctor. Yeah. Are you happy maybe, do you think maybe some subutamol or pulmacort would help? Yeah, I'm happy to prescribe those. Okay, that's great. Thank you. So we'll get those nebs going and then I'm happy with B at the minute. We're treating the wheeze. We'll move on. Um, coming down to C then, what's my heart rate? Heart rate is 150. And um, could we get maybe a little blood pressure on him if there's a cuff available? If not, you know, that's okay. Yeah. You do have a cuff. Great. Just gonna put this on your leg, wee tight. And when you're popping that in the leg, Emma, does he feel quite cool when you're down, touching his wee legs and things? He is actually okay? very so cool. he is quite shut down. And it's had All a blanket right. on him. And while that wee blood pressure cycling, could you do a capillary refill for me? And could you do that centrally? Sternum, okay? Yes, please. Three. Three seconds. All right. Do we have any IV access? Did they put a wee line on an ED or anything? They did, yes. That's it's great. Okay. So could we maybe get some IV fluids? All right. I'm thinking maybe we should give some normal saline. Um, yeah. Will we give 20 per kilo? Are you happy with that? Yeah, 20 per kilo. 20 per kilo. Right. Okay. Dad, we're just going to give a little bit of fluid. Just He's a little bit cold. I'm sure you can feel yeah, that when you're touching yeah, his hand. Good. Just it'll hopefully help that perfusion okay. a little bit. I think if we've IV access, um, could we maybe get the nurses to get some drugs out? Maybe some hydrocortisone, maybe some IV cetirizine, just to see if that I'll helps. Ask them to get those right. That's great, thank you. So I'm happy with C. 
moving on then to D for disability. Just checking, Peter, are you still you know there with us? Peter. Are you responding to us? He's opening his eyes just. Okay, so he is responding to voice, but just probably not able to speak. Okay, and then E, just going down exposure. Does he have any rashes? Oh gosh, he does. Yes. And what kind of rash does it look like? Oh gosh. It's urticarial rash. Urticarial, okay. Um, so I do think this is ana anaphylaxis. Um, if we just go back and reassess, um, could we maybe get the nurses as well to phone some senior help, maybe get the registrar down to the ward? I think we uh, need yeah. someone more senior down here. We've so. already given some IM adrenaline, he's still unwell. Yeah. So back at A, um, how is the strider? Has that improved? Has it disappeared? It's slightly better, but it's still there. Okay, and what about the lip swelling still present? Still look a bit swollen, Dad. Yeah. Okay. Um. How long is it? Do you think from we give that last I am adrenaline? That would be five minutes now. Right. So we could give another dose of I am adrenaline. Same um, dose. Same dose, but could we give it on the opposite leg? Okay. And then same as before, just I am hold for ten seconds and just give the thigh a little um rub afterwards. So Dad, he just, just hasn't got hugely better from that here. first dose of medicine. Okay. So this is just another little bit of this medicine to try and make him feel a little bit better. Okay. Um, but I do think he's had a little bit of an allergic reaction potentially to something he's had at the birthday party. Okay. Carol, whenever you phoned for the senior help, they were actually quite close and have just arrived in to see Peter. Do you want to give a hand over? Okay. Hi, um, my name's Carol. I'm the senior nurse on the ward, and this is Emma, the junior doctor. This is Christian, um, Peter's dad. Um, so Peter's three years old, came in with a acute onset of shortness of breath and increased work of breathing. On assessment initially, he had significant strider and a swollen and lips. So we recognised quite quickly that this was possibly anaphylaxis. He previously had a reaction to some peanuts. So we very quickly gave some IM adrenaline. As we reassessed him, he had quite significant wheeze. So he's had some nebulizers from, for that. He's got an IV line in his left hand. So we have given a 20 ml per kilo fluid bolus. And we're also drawing up some IV steroids and some IV cetirizine. Um, he hadn't really clinically improved with that first IM adrenaline, so he's had a second dose given, and we're just about to reassess and see how he is. But if you wouldn't mind having a look at Peter, and I think he needed needs admitted to the ward and um, for further observation, and we've tried to keep updating um, Daddy throughout. Thank you very much.